Yes, President Trump back on the campaign trail less than two weeks after testing positive for COVID-19. Wake up shots, Tracy Potts now in D.C. And Tracy, thousands of supporters attended a rally in Florida last night, kicking off several days of events. Hi, Ben. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. The president is back with an aggressive campaign schedule. He's going to be on the road pretty much every day playing catch up with Joe Biden now ahead by double digits in some national polls. It's great to be back in my home state, Florida. President Trump before a largely maskless crowd at his first rally since being hospitalized with COVID-19. His doctor now says he's tested negative. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there. I'll kiss everyone in that audience. Joe Biden in Ohio chiding the president for returning to the campaign trail so soon. His reckless personal conduct since his diagnosis has been unconscionable. The longer Donald Trump is president, the more reckless he seems to get. The Trump campaign also under fire for this ad. I can't imagine that anybody could be doing more. Infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci says his praise for the coronavirus response is out of context. I think it's really unfortunate and really disappointing that they did that. It's so clear that I'm not a political person. All this with COVID cases on the rise in 30 states, some hitting new one-day records and hospitalizations, and with millions already voting. It could have rain, it could have snow. I would not care. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Long lines, up to seven hours here in Georgia, not stopping determined voters. According to the U.S. Elections Project, more than 10 million Americans have already voted. I'm Tracy Potts for Wake Up Charlotte.